Hello everyone, it's DC here and today I'm going to be completing the Wire CTF uh, Capture the Flag on TryHackMe.com Raise it up! So this challenge is uh, listed as a intermediate level CTF based on Wireshark. From the looks of what the challenge is, it's all about finding the flag within the different packets. I assume there'll be a whole bunch of TCP and, and all that sort of traffic in Wireshark. If you're not familiar with Wireshark, uh, definitely check it out. It's a huge tool uh, in both the cybersec and uh, networking worlds. So yeah, definitely check out Wireshark, um, it's available on everything. And uh, yeah, once you get the hang of it, it is a super awesome tool to, to know how to do. So, without any further ado, let's jump straight into the challenge and get it done. Alrighty, let's get straight into this one. So, let's go, okay, so flag within the packets, a CTF challenge by Seesaw. Um, during this task, you'll have to inspect a PCAP file using programs such as t -Shark and y -Shark. You will analysis the file and release something that has been transferred. Okay, that's a bit of a giveaway. Let's have a look at the hint here. HTTP and Python submit the full flag. So it's, it's something Python. Interesting. Let's download the file. And um, have a look at that. Cool. All right. Is there anything obvious? Something that's been transferred. Bit of a long shot. Hmm. Full flag. I wonder. Cool, okay, let's uh, have a look at this, shall we? TCP stream. Cool, okay, so there's a Python script here with something. That's probably the flag that needs to be encoded, I guess. So that's the encode, so we need... Okay, so let's, uh, let's get this. Let's open up Sublime Text because it will look pretty. And I'll save that to my downloads. We'll call it wires.py. That'll make it all nice and pretty. There we go, look at that. Oh yeah, I forgot to start my timer. Okay, I've spent like five, we'll call it five minutes. I'll add five minutes on the end. Whatever the result is. Um, okay, back to Sublime. Let's have a look at what this actually does. If I just run this, um, so I'll just get my terminal up there. CD downloads. Uh, what do I call it? Wise. Oops. Python. Wise. Dot. Invalid syntax. Ah, just mix that one up. Make it look pretty. Let's see what that does. Count equals question mark. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So I think what we need to do here is essentially the opposite of what's happening. So for example, uh, shifting it three times. So minus three. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have to add some other stuff in here for sure. So let's see what that So I just changed K 
Okay, let's have a look. I need to... I need to flip this over. So... Okay. Let's do some scripting. Def. Oops. Decode. Tidy, keep it tidy, PT. Then print the PT. Okay, now I just need to do this if statement down the bottom. <sighs> I can just copy that bit. Paste it up there, so if name is equal to nine. Um, decode. If 
open um, data. Take a break from this because I'm going cross-eyed. How long have I been doing this? 20 minutes. Oh my god. Alright, let's pause this for a second and uh, I'll come back in a little bit. Alrighty, I've got some juice and I'm going to do this differently. Bye. Changing a whole bunch of stuff, basically. So, import. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just. I had to think, and I was like, I hate all of this. So, base sixty four. Yep. Import. You know, I just missed all of this stuff. Um, oh, my timer. I need my timer. Start. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, 640 code, flag equals whatever. Um, actually, what? I need that. Delete. And delete. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is super scratchy. I drank way too much last night. Uh, define roti yat 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 yat. Yeah, that'll be fine. That's all good. Def base 64E should be D. Otherwise, it won't work. B64 decode, decode. Okay, I actually changed that one. It's good. Def. Plain text are still minus three, which is good. And good, good, good. Let's put that on its own. Fancy little line. Um, now, this stuff. That needs to be there, for sure. Uh, and you know that I, I stuffed that up. I didn't put the um, the code, which is there, which I was meant to. Because I'm an idiot. So it should be something like. Yeah, kind of like that. Let's go right to the end. Boom. That should fix that piece. Let's get rid of that. Mm, uh, this needs to. I don't want to. Oops. 
but give me a second to think about that. Choice. Decoded. So itchy. Uh, data is going to be the B64 decode. Yes, correct. Decoded. Uh, brackets are in. We're cooking. We're cooking with gas. Raw data. And then if, okay, so index, I can't put spaces, good, index, um, so, try to tidy this up, I don't know which one of those bits of tidying up, oh my god, there we go, finally. So flag is lions and tigers and bars. Oh my. Damn. Damn. Oh, we got it. Okay. This is a long video. Uh, that has taken, let's call it 35 minutes ish um, with 15 to 20 minutes of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the side where I, I just have to think to myself for a while there. Um, that was tricky. These all do do quite a lot of CTFs. Um, this one is forensics, uh, obviously, because we had to reverse all of that delicious text. So yeah, that was, um, that was a good one. I, I enjoyed that. Um, I'll have to do another video another time on this uh, Halloween challenge because um, there's a bit in there so that'll probably take a while to get through but uh, anyway yeah I'll give them a little plus one for that and that is task one of the Wireshark CTF completed. So if you guys enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to leave me a comment. Uh, if you want to ask any questions, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Um, I'm trying to do as many of these solving videos as I can lately because they're fun. And uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of cool. So I thought I might as well do them. Uh, if you do have a challenge for me, uh, flick it over on uh, Twitter or uh, yeah, send me a message on Discord. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Catch you later.